everybody. Hello, people of the internet, I guess. Our friends and family. Our friends and family via the technology of the internet. How wonderful it is to join you on this fine day. On Sunday morning. <laughs> uh <-huh. clears throat> so... We're going to do a video because I wanted to and well, I'm sorry. And I'm married to her so that's how things are going. <laughs> you don't have much of a choice. Uh, so we got a Universal Yum box and it's from different countries we get snackies. So and uh, I wanted to do this because well. It's a good adventure for him and me to watch him react to different foods. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's true. So this month we go to the Ukraine. So we get different snacky foods from the Ukraine. And so it comes with like a map of the Ukraine. I guess pollution, yeah, that, that's good. <laughs> and on the back, they have the list of all the treats. Can you flip it over? And you can rank them and stuff. So, so yeah, and then it comes with a booklet. You can set that down now. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, so going through all the different snacks and trivia and about the Ukraine, the boxes. So it comes with a sticker. So we're just going to start pulling snacks out of this box and then trying them. So the first snack, I said, I guess, I'm guessing that's potato. It's a potato chip that is spicy. Maybe, where's your milk? I hope you have your milk handy. Do I need to get some kind of a drink to survive this experience? Possibly. Quite possibly. Does that booklet describe the snacks? Yeah. Shall I read it while you try it? Yeah. Shall I read it while you try it? Are you gonna, you gotta try it with me. I'll try it at some point. Potentially. No, that's the whole deal, is you get to try it with me. Uh, if you survive it, I will try it with you. Holy smell. If it is disgusting, you have saved me in difficulty. It's these ones. Veal and Adjika chips. Ukraine's spicy beef obsession in a chip. Time for another hot commodity. Adjika! This punchy paste made with red pepper, garlic, and herbs, and spices like coriander and dill, actually originated in Abkhazia, Georgia, the country, not the state. When it spread to Ukraine, locals made it their own by adding a heaping helping of tomato and using it to add spicy flavor to veggies, veal, and everything in between, including these ajika and veal chips. These are actually good. Uh huh. It is. Uh -huh. I just had two of them. Uh huh. Do I have to have two of them? Well, how many do I have to have them? They're not spicy. They're kind of like airy. Well, not like your typical. I like the fluffiness of the potato chip, but not so much the flavor. I like the flavor. It's definitely not hot. I suppose it tastes like veal, but I wouldn't know. I don't know. know. I don't know what it tastes like. So that's for that. Um, the next, I'll just pull this one out. It's homemade bread chips. Did you find it? Oh. No. It might be this 
one and uh, just make a picture of it. Yeah. What does it say? Or are they roasted? It's, it's just homemade britches. Britches. There's not a picture. So. Oh. Maybe this picture goes with that Oh, side. yeah. Okay. I can read and learn. I'm good at reading. I'm so good at it. So this is apparently roasted garlic rye chips. Ooh, and we get a riddle. This yum's package is a reference to Ukraine's most popular food, found on bakery shelves in iconic brown paper bags. Do you know what it is? Rye That's bread? That's not really a riddle. That's just a question. Drum roll, please. It's bread. Ukraine is one of the largest grain exporters in the world. The country didn't get the nickname the Bread Basket of Europe for nothing. The secret behind the local bread bounty? Super fertile black soil produces over 82 million tons of grain in 2019 alone. Grain is literally stitched into Ukrainian culture. The country's yellow and blue flag symbolizes golden fields of it under a clear sky. So did you guess correctly? Either way, reward yourself with one of these garlicky, finger-licking good rye chips and get ready for tons more delicious fun and grains on our spectacular Ukrainian adventure. Yes, I see. I had to finish reading. I know. to buy those. <laughs> Which one would you rather eat? I dislike that one less. <laughs> I actually really do like these. These are really yummy to me. Next up, shall we just go over here? Wasabi one? Wasabi chip strips. Can you handle Ukraine's spiciest chip? Bum bum bum. Ukrainians can handle their spice, Exhibit A. One of the most popular alcoholic drinks, horilka, which literally means burning water, is often infused with red hot chili peppers. Exhibit B. This yum! These long rectangular chips might appear delicate and thin, but do not be fooled. They are speckled with an incredibly strong, ridiculously hot wasabi flavor. One flaky bite and you'll be reaching for a glass of water. Just make sure that it is not burning water. Ah, 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 ah. really thin. Cool. Can you really taste the wasabi? Mm-hmm. Fantastic. What's wasabi? <laughs> it's like a, a horseradish. I like wasabi, so... Fantastic. <laughs> I'm glad you like eating horse and radish. <laughs> You're putting this in my face hole? <laughs> of my tongue. I don't like that flavor either. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you for trying. <laughs> Next up, Ukraine's Dairy Delights. Like this is more likely to be my category. I really Hold do, on. though, for this one, that the wasabi one, mm -hmm. I like the the chip, the potato chip part. The the wasabi part's intense, but anyway. Well, maybe we can find some salt and vinegar chip strips and that'll be more my sweet. Sweet and condensed milk cream cakes. Woo! Wait, nope, nope you wrong picked one. the wrong thing. Well, you we're moving up. Oh, nope, toffee it is. Creamy toffee squares. Woo! <laughs> Soft Ukrainian toffee and velvety cream filling. 
The Ukrainians have been innovating with milky toffees and caramels for centuries. Not just because they're delicious, because they're practical, and also because they're delicious. Folks in rural areas need to make farm-fresh products like milk last through frigid winters, so they combine their raw milk with sugar, creating tons of long-lasting milky treats like this yum. I'm assuming that they're capitalizing yum and treating it like a proper noun of some kind, no, that these are yums. Mm -hmm. No, all right, I, I can catch it on. Their latest innovation, adding little ridges on the surface that makes for more buttery, toffee-tastic creaminess in every bite. I can feed myself. <laughs> well, I don't but know. Thank you I'm for... pulling them out, so I'm helping. Mm -hmm. They kind of remind me of, like, the a mixture between, like, the caramels like the homemade caramels that you get. Uh-huh. I like them. It's sweet and sugary. It's hard to go wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Pretty straightforward. I don't know that I could eat very many of those. I don't mm. eat rich things very often. We're going to go back to the sweetened condensed milk cream cakes. Woo! Are those it? Uh, it looks like it. Creamy, rich, and drizzled with local cocoa. Uh-oh. Sometimes super sweet things can come out of really dark times, and this yum is proof. After World War II, Ukraine forced food shortages that forced... Mm, Ukraine faced food shortages that forced folks to get creative in the kitchen, especially for dessert, which is where sweetened condensed milk, or zgushyanka, came in handy. I don't know if you pronounced that right, did you? I don't know, but that might have to replace skadoosh as our word for the totally insane card game. What is it? Skushanka! <laughs> Locals <laughs> used to stick that. together bits of leftover baked goods, making simple and sweet no-bake cakes. Fortunately, Ukraine has recovered since its post-World War II food shortages, but sweetened condensed milk cakes like this decadent variety remain as popular as ever. So it's squished up leftover food? I mean, that's the heritage of this. It just looks like a Ukrainian Twinkie. Mm. The bread's kind of dry. But the flavor's fine. Mm hmm. I think Ukrainian Twinkie is a good description. I like the cream on the inside better than our Twinkies. It's a little more solid rather than just like a poofy. Well, it doesn't cream. leave that grease layer on the top of your mouth. It's been too long since I've had mm -hmm. a Twinkie. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Do they make those again, Twinkies? I think they mm -hmm. gave up for a while. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set that in there and finish it later. Let's move on to... Baked milk and dark chocolate wafer. Ooh. Taste the famous baked milk caramel. Ever had the intense desire to simmer milk for eight hours? No. Probably not, unless you're Ukrainian. That's the process behind making baked milk a delicious local breakfast drink. When heated, the milk's amino acids and sugars undergo a chemical reaction that transforms ordinary dairy into a creamy, caramelly sensation which you will find slathered on this yum between a whopping 11 layers of crispy wafer and a coating of dark chocolate. Do you like dark chocolate? Uh, no. What reasonable person would like dark chocolate more than regular milk chocolate? It has more sugar. Dark chocolate is unnecessarily fancy chocolate. Oh, shucks. You already took a bite out of it. I can't possibly have a, the rest of it for you. Okay. I thought you could feed yourself. <laughs> I love you, too. <clears throat> I like it. Yeah, it would probably be better if it were milk chocolate uh, rather than dark chocolate. I think, but... I think the dark chocolate bitterness cuts through the sugar. Okay. So it's not like an overdose of sugar? 
So eloquently phrased, my dear. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I wonder if they have a non-dark chocolate variety. Anyway, moving on so that this video isn't two years long. Oh. Yeah. Fruit juice filled caramel toffees. Apricot, oh. strawberry, blueberry, orange. So they come in this yum bag. And they still got chocolate all in them. Eat sweets faster. Said my doctor never. Pacing needs to be better for these videos. It's important. The internet relies on us for entertainment. So, yeah, so they come in, there's different kinds. Ooh, this one's fizzy. Fizzy soda, that's more your. <gasps> Ooh. I want to try these. So you can try something else if you want. Okay. Are all of these things... Oh, that's going to have like... These don't seem to match that wrapper. But uh, this one definitely matches this one. This is apparently a Belgorod Kievsky. Ukrainian fruit jelly. And it's very, very tasty. Enough to... To save a city? Mm -hmm. According to legend, the city of Belgorod Kievsky was under siege in the 10th century when an old prophet advised citizens to make two fake wells. The first filled with mead, the second filled with kissel, Ukrainian berry jelly. When the invaders arrived, they tasted the food and drink that seemingly came from the earth itself, and they were so impressed, they left the city unharmed. Too bad the city was destroyed during an invasion a few hundred years later. Ready to try some of Ukraine's legendary jelly for yourself? Let us do this! So it's a soft and squishy thing? Was the other one soft and squishy? This one's hard. But these are, um... The... Fruit juice filled caramel toffees. Um, minky binkies. Well, I'll save that for later if it's a hard candy. I don't think oh, it that's is. what I just had. No, you had that. That's what that is. Oh, we just didn't get any of the purple ones? Uh-uh. Oh, they shafted us. That's why. So we didn't get any blueberry minky binkies. That's right. That's a tragedy. It will go down in history. Hmm. The minky binky berryless. Spring of 2021. Creme brulee milk chocolate bar? Ukraine's most decadent chocolate. You may be asking, isn't creme brulee from France? You'd be right. Ukraine has long taken inspiration from the French. Just look to the country's most famous dish, chicken Kiev. In the 1840s, Russian royals sent chefs to Paris to learn from culinary masters. When they returned to Kiev, they created a chicken version of a French veal dish, and voila, chicken Kiev. This yum, also made in Kiev, takes gooey French creme brulee and adds luxurious Ukrainian chocolate, creating, in our opinion, one of the world's best chocolate bars. So, chocolate and what? Creme brulee. Mm I don't taste the creme brulee. Other than it being a sugary filling inside. Mm -hmm. My palate is not sufficiently refined to distinguish the different sugars. It seems like a Cadbury cream egg in and chocolate That's what bar I was form. thinking. So this is the same kind as the Another chocolate bar. As the big. But this so, one a is. A dark chocolate and almond wafer. Ukraine's um, sweetest, nuttiest, biggest wafer! Not so long ago, almonds were considered an extraordinary nut in Ukraine. Imported exclusively through the port city of Odessa from far off Mediterranean destinations. <clears throat> now, Odessa and the region surrounding are proud producers themselves, making the nut much more accessible, but no less special, as you'll taste with this extraordinarily delicious 11-layered wafer, 
and with rich dark chocolate and real grated almonds. I wonder why 11 layers. Um, I don't know. Maybe another company did 10 and they're like, these we're going to go 11. Just, we're going to out wafer those people. Mm. Those schmucks and their 10 layered wafer. Mm. They ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, I'm going to taste the one with almonds. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I mean. You don't want it, whatever. Moving on then, I guess. Caramel bubble white chocolate bar. More chocolate. The champagne of Ukrainian chocolate. One of the world's largest confectionaries, Roshan produces over 450,000 tons of treats every year. From chocolates to caramels to jellies to biscuits to cakes. The Willy Wonka-esque mastermind behind it all, Ukraine's former president, Petro Poroshenko. Really? Oh, sounds, right. Sounds I remember that guy. In 1996, long before his presidency began in 2014, Poroshenko started Roshan, quickly earning the nickname Chocolate King. Here you'll taste his company's latest innovation, white chocolate aerated to make tiny bubbles, creating a melty experience that Wonka could only dream of. Ooh. It looks like. Boom. <laughs> I was gonna say a sponge. Yeah. It was good though. It is interesting. Yeah, nice. I like it. White chocolate's good. You already I already tried that one. Oh, while well, I was reading, did I take too long? Or what? No, it was when you were trying the gummy. Alright, well, we're skipping fizzy citrus candies then that were bursting with Ukrainian lime orange and cola. I know you wanted to hear about it, internet, but too bad. Moving on. What next? The summer fruit jellies. This is summer awesome. in Kiev with pear, apricot, and more. <coughs> Dairy is hardly the only thing Ukrainians are traditionally pros at preserving. They're experts with fruits, too. Berries are boiled into sweet jam known as varinya. Apricots and peaches are dried to be later mixed with hot, sugary water to make the dessert beverage compot. Compot. And believe it or not, no, I said compot, and that's how they're going to pronounce it now. Because that's how it should be pronounced. Does that spell? Believe it or not, some locals swear by pickled watermelon. That just is ridiculous talk. Our favorite, these extra sweet, soft jelly candies made with real fruit juice, which allow Ukrainians and you... To enjoy summertime faves all year long. So, I don't know which one's the apricot or anything, so. Well, red is always a safe choice. Because it's either strawberry or cherry or watermelon. I'm guessing. I'm going to try this. Ooh, those are soft. Mm-hmm. Mm. Why is it rolled in sugar? Why not? I got a pear. It was really yummy. It was very sugary. Mm hmm. Yeah, I have no idea what fruit that was. That could have been strawberry. It was red. Whatever red is. I think it's it an is official strawberry. flavor. Because it's in the shape. And watermelon tastes shape. weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Ukrainian snacks. I need, like, salt. Do you need to salt your potato chips? Or what? I need salt. Or you, too oh, much sugar. Too much sugar. You need something to balance out the sugar. Mm -hmm. well, well, maybe next time we will have less sugary things and something that is delicious in other ways. But thank you for joining us on this fantastic voyage through the Ukrainian snacks, which are amazing and wonderful, and I have enjoyed this experience with my wife. And um, that's all. I have nothing additional to say. Okay. Alright, we're done. Wave! Oh, no, we're not done. Bye. I made him do this. You're Good. welcome. Goodbye. Yes. <laughs>